to the worst days. I'm your host, Joshua Wise, and I am here. Uh, and so are these three other human beings uh, with me on this evening, in this place, at this time. Uh, I am here with Rachel Max, Justin Allen, and Quinn Steve Bold. Um, and uh, welcome to Epic Inside and Will in the chat. Uh, Rachel? Hi. How's it going? <laughs> you know it's going. You said that like I was looking at the Twitch stream and I was like, oh shit, did I do something wrong? Rachel, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> How dare you? Honestly, I don't know these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, has your teacher voice on. Yeah. You did. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm not texting in class. Uh huh. I was looking at the stream, I promise. There was definitely on the Monday night stream a night where I I asked the other Rachel something. I was like, can you name like, I think three French films or whatever. And she was like looking at her phone. I was like, hey, nope, hands up. Like that's, <laughs> this oh, is okay. a don't look at your, don't look at your phone uh, moment. Um, and she's like, well, I was texting somebody. I was like, yeah, me and Chris were both like, yeah, that's sure worse. you were. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so well, how's I was on it? air? Yeah, live on air, just, <laughs> um, uh, but hey, I'd rather her text than, than, you know, Google the answer to things. That's the thing always, if I was in class and I was teaching and, and I ask a question and people Google it, I'm like, I'm not asking because I want to know. I'm asking because I want to know if you know. I know Google knows, like that's not, not the issue. Um, but yes, uh, so uh, I'm glad I'm glad you're okay, Rachel. I'm glad that that you're um, you're not breaking any rules, you know. As far as I know, not that you know of. That's uh, ignorance no. is no excuse. Quinn Steve Bowl is I here. Know. How's it going, Quinn? Okay, so I listened to a specific playlist of mine because I had a song stuck in my head, and I thought it would be better if I listened to the song. Made it worse, partly because. So this song is Homo Sapiens by Lenka. Um, and essentially she's like, wow, I'm so in love with you that like, I want to have your babies, but in a scientific way, right? <laughs> it's kind of a bob. Okay. And like that yeah. soft indie voice feel. But at one point she goes from rock to fish, monkey to man. And like her, her like, we evolved to this. Why does she start with rock? <laughs> Also, she shouldn't go to monkey. We don't have monkey ancestors. We have ape ancestors. Monkeys and us, we never evolved from monkeys. That's so rock I get because like minerals. We were all chemicals at some point. Not like rocks though. Like, you know, no. like I just rocks are usually inorganic. Which so I feel one like thing that is inorganic as as your starting point. Still also, yeah, I mean, the only thing there that we actually evolved from was a fish. That's the only thing that's actually in that list that works for human beings. Okay, but see, here's the thing with monkey. I can give you artistic license for that. You can't call eight to man. Like, what? Like, it doesn't work for the rhythm. No, it actually sound better. I like the idea of ape to man. That sounded good. Well, we don't know what the you, song sounds like, though. So yeah, that's, that's the that's thing. True, that's true. Um, it, it doesn't work for the. She'd have to write okay. a new song. I mean, but the okay. thing is, is like we evolve from monkeys as much as we evolve from rhinos. Like we didn't. So like artistic <laughs> license is fine if you don't know what the difference between an ape and a monkey is. Like, um, I'm I'm not counting on her knowing the difference. Yeah, one of the big deals is m m monkeys have tails. That's, we I don't... mean, who, whoever wrote the song <laughs> clearly didn't because they started their evolutional theory with, with rocks. rocks. Sure, that's true. Yeah, so yeah. We can't blame them on the monkey thing. I will. I will continue had, to blame them on the monkey at thing. A bad point. <laughs> we had tails when we were fish. Yeah, but monkeys don't. Well, okay, that seems like a completely irrelevant <laughs> point because monkeys have tails and apes <laughs> don't. Like that is just wildly. That's the that's the sort of <laughs> argument with that's like. Um, okay. Okay, <laughs> like Rachel. If we had Ducky saying had that tails, yeah. some humans are born with tails, yes, that's we have a tail true, bone. But but yes, it's vestigial. Yeah. <laughs> now, Rachel, how many bones are in the tail? Yeah, how many tail bones do we have? When I was One? little, I wanted to have a tail, and then I found out that the tails that humans did. are born with were like just weird, gross, fleshy. 
Yeah, they're a little like, they're not like <laughs> little they're not what you wanted. They're not what you wanted them to be. <laughs> no, they're not. No, it's like when people make <laughs> when people make Pokemon real, like Pokemon in real life. They're way too fleshy for me, and then I'm really upset. Why Speaking of too up? fleshy for anybody, well, people do that. Justin Allen is here. How's it I going, need to Justin? Send me a picture because um, I've never seen on. one of these. Let me flesh. Google how to I'll respond to that. It's horrible. <laughs> Great, I'm doing really well. Thank you. Or fantastic. Oh, good. Did ChatGPT create that? For no, that's what <laughs> Google told me. Said I need to answer briefly, but in a positive way. I see. Mm. Okay, mm. that's great. Um, yeah, this, uh, this, this whole, this whole thing. Here's what I, I, here's what I firmly believe. I believe that the vast majority of humans who have never thought about evolution in their lives just have it. it Evolution is like computers in their head. There's like gnomes that are out there just just <laughs> tinkering out the next species uh, with like mm. a purpose. They're like, we need to do something with this thing. Let's give let's give them feathers and then send them out into the world with feathers. Um, if you really if you really want to blow your hair back on uh, evolution and uh, and just the vast fucking distances of time. Uh, there's a really boring but interesting podcast called I Know Dino, which covers dinosaurs, the new the, the new findings in dinosaurs every week. And when you, when you think about the fact that like the Tyrannosaurus Rex existed longer in the history of the world than the distance between us and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's fucking mind boggling. When dino dinosaurs existed for hundreds of millions of years and we've been around for 200,000, it is the the distances of time are fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's really wonkers. Um, so that's that's how I'm doing. Um, Why is she <laughs> naked? Because that's a na Pokemon don't wear clothes. That's a well, sure. What is this from? It's a lick. That's actually it from tongue? Detective Pikachu. Yeah, lick a tongue from Detective yeah. Pikachu. It's too fleshy. I don't like it. Well, did you choose? Did you choose one of the weird Pokemon? It's like if you I mean, if you look at at, yes. at at Mimic, like or whatever the fuck his name is, the mime guy. Mr. Uh, oh, mime is weird. Uh, Mr. This mime? is what he looks like as the Pokemon. Be aware that no one else can see what you're talking about, and there is an audience out there that is, you know, like here, <laughs> up, and you guys are just chatting about 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 Pikachu. images that nobody else can see. Like this is, you guys are supposed to be professionals. This is amateur hour. <laughs> this is fucking like. <laughs> okay, so she decides to prove her point by choosing yeah. the weirdest. Okay, not the weirdest. I understand that Pokemon have. Because it's I didn't a grow salamander. I'm Why... sending you Mr. Mom. I chose not to. Well, yeah, but like that one's expected. Like, yeah, but it's weird. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm glad you can see them in your head, Jelly Blue Gnome. This must be a he very alienating movie. Just look at a up. very alienating conversation for everyone else. You have a good point <laughs> there, Josh. Yep, this is, uh, this is, <laughs> maybe we do a whole podcast of, uh, Rachel and Quinn look at, look at images that you can't see and argue about them. Um, the entire podcast. Yeah, that looks weird. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Completely audio. Yep. Uh, I'm going to wait for this ad break to end and then, uh, we will get into, we will get into it. Uh, so last week, uh, some shit started to go down. Um, Rachel got a haircut. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Justin got healed, uh, yep. and and uh, Quinn Quinn had to run away. Um, I get healed? No, you yeah. did not. You did not get healed. You, you... I said, "Can I?" Oh, come on! <laughs> it's it's possible over time. <laughs> You know, uh, we're getting a theme of you just brutally torturing my characters. Yeah, maybe if you play someone nice, sometimes <laughs> I would. <laughs> I my last character was nice. I can't even remember your Grace. last character. Her name? Rachel, how, how about this? Okay. Out? The bad the, thing whatever that character character. were my fault. Were your fault. Yeah, that's fair. And I was just trying to put her out of her misery. It kept getting worse. Yeah, don't blame me for what Quinn did you. I'm going to blame you because you're uh, the DM. Insipid, I had, a, I had a drawing stream that was nothing but cursed images. I don't... Oh, God. I've lost. I lost that recording. Oh god! <laughs> uh, so I yeah. lost that recording for reasons. 
Um, so, uh, here's, here's, we're going to pick up about eight hours later. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Damn. So it's like. It's night. night. It's dark. It's. No, it, yeah. you guys, you guys picked up. Let's see. Wait, when did we, the sun was the train, going down. The sun, the sun was going down. At right. 4.30. Right, so it's yeah. about four thirty. So, all right, we'll say thirteen hours later. Okay. So, um, the barest oh, glimmer of dawn is breaking. Um, Justin, you are Tommy is feeling great. Tommy is is sitting on a bench. Um. He's got a handful of spiders and he is plucking them one by one and just popping them into his mouth. Uh, oh God. Because- What did they do to you? Because uh, they contain the life. And they, they're they little, little motes of life. Little motes of mm -hmm. life. And, 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 and you might one day build up to, to having like a little pet mouse mm -hmm. uh, or maybe a little pet bird um, or a cat even. Who's who you could you could raise and and take its life into you uh, because of course the blood is the life. Um, but for now, a handful of spiders will do. Dream um, big. <laughs> My God. <laughs> what, what what happened tonight? <laughs> well, no, because he got he got vampire thralled. He got vampirified. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I stared so. deep into this older man, uh, older man's eyes, and just felt <laughs> so much better. Uh, the thing that you uh, you remember last before you were granted permission to have these spiders, and not just permission, mm -hmm. but you call the spiders and they come to you, um, and just crawl right up into your palm. Uh, but right before that, you went deep down under the fort into uh, a room where there are all these old heavy boxes uh, and you and your master broke open one of the boxes and laid out the earth that was in it and you buried him completely in it for him to sleep uh, and then you walked all the way back up the steps into the courtyard called the spiders and let them scuttle into your hand before you had yourself breakfast are these the same boxes I was sitting on earlier? Uh, it looks like looks like they might be. Okay. That he was buried in. So so in in these crates is soil that I've buried my master in, but these are the boxes I was, I'm thinking I might have sat on when we first came into that the fort. Were, that had like experiment or something written on them. Right, experimental mm -hmm. earth. Experimental mm -hmm. earth. Got it. Okay, that's good to know. Um, cool. Now, uh, there's a, there's a pathetic figure oh, that God. comes crawling out of the darkness. Um, wasn't someone offering to help me with my hair? Fuck. How'd you get so good? <laughs> um, she's hobbling. Uh, she seems to have some sort of splint on her leg. Um, but she has a hunted look in her eyes. Uh, and you think you might recognize her. Um, and she comes crawling up to you. Uh, Rachel, you've had a night. Uh, oh, God. I you, keep having nights. You've been hunted. Uh, you've watched people die by the dozens. Um, and uh, you have barely made it out each time. You're not sure how. Uh, there's always been someone to push in front of you as you back out of a room. There's always been someone who might be <laughs> uh, a more tasty target than you as you, <laughs> you push people towards this, this seemingly ravenous man who's been stalking the halls of this place. Um, there was you know, one moment. Lizzie had the potential to be a better person. There was <laughs> that potential there. <laughs> Um, 
there was there was a moment where uh, her ladyship, the 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 young woman, was with you, and you watched her tear somebody's throat open as well. Um, and she looked at them and said, "I'm sorry, but I need my strength." And uh, you watched as she just knelt over uh, this other young woman and lapped up her blood as it as it squirted out of her out of her neck. Um, <laughs> At some point, the two of you got separated. Uh, and now you've found Tommy in the courtyard. Uh, and it looks like he has food. Uh, and you haven't eaten in, in so long. Uh, and you come crawling over to him and see what's in his hand. Tom? Tommy? I mean, you don't look like a wolf. Excuse me? <laughs> well, it might be a mangy one. Tommy, what the fuck? Do I, do I clearly remember them, or is it just like a vague... This is a vague memory. She might be one of the, the master's <laughs> servants. She might be one of his playthings. You're not sure. New or old servant? Can I like slap him? I think he's like in a trance or something. Yeah, you can slap I'm him. slapping. Give, I it, give me slap a, him. give me a uh, give, give me a physical prowess roll or a, a physical um, fisticuffs. That. Actually, you want to roll fisticuffs? <laughs> and, fisticuffs. Uh, yeah, Tommy, you roll fisticuffs with a. Um, well, actually, let Rachel roll first. Okay. Not rolling well. Let's be real. <laughs> I've yet to roll well. <laughs> I don't have fisticuffs oh! listed on my sheet. Oh it's, no, uh, sorry. Rachel. It's Rumble. Sorry, it's called Rumble. Okay. Day. Yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, all right, Justin. You don't need to roll, but you can with a plus four. Uh, rumble or resist influence. <laughs> uh, rumble. That's rumble. Okay. With a plus four. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna uh, beat the shit out of me? <laughs> with my with my face. No, you're you're blocking at this point. You're defending oh, yourself okay. against her okay. attack. So I mean That's it's, a ten it's... plus four, so fourteen. Oh no 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 no. No no. Oh. Not plus four, <laughs> plus four D. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you're gonna break her hand and not my brain with out. Superman and turning his head with a punch. Um, that's a twenty two. my hand. I already am down a leg. Don't <laughs> do that to me. I need the crutches. You chose this. Tommy grabs your hand and just backhands you uh, onto the ground. I hit the yeah. I was gonna Bad say dog. I hit the ground. Bad, Bad dog. dog. <laughs> what happened to you, freak? Tommy, what the fuck? The first ray of sunlight breaches the top of the 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 wall and lands on Tommy and Tommy all of the fog goes away and you suddenly recognize Lizzie oh <laughs> oh that's bad that's bad you're what the f um you look rough <laughs> you look like a piece of shit the way you just treated me I mean isn't that how you treat me all the time No? We had okay. a whole um, conversation. Let's, let's, I apologize let's... to you. I'm sorry. I didn't expect exactly expect you to treat me like a piece of meat when I walked up to you. When? Like a fucking wolf. You call me a dog. Like, fuck you. When did you get here, though? Like, what, two minutes ago? Oh, I thought you just got here. What? Uh, ah. More or less? <laughs> the spiders are crawling over you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Where are they? You just ate so many of those. Yeah, there's definitely like legs uh, in uh, your head. Uh, uh, uh. Still better, better than Denny's uh, tuna sandwiches. Probably. Can you help me up, please? 
Okay. Um, I will try and go and help her up. Do I still am I? Do I still feel good or am I hurting? You're physically f- totally fine. Okay, I am okay. I. Huh. And then I help her up. Like. How are my, How are you better? I don't know. What's the last thing I remember? You remember watching people run across the courtyard to a man who was standing in the shadows and watching him, like, kiss them on the neck and they fell down. Okay. Do I, do I remember up to, is that as far as I remember? That's do I remember up to remember. the point where, okay. Yeah. Um, do me a favor. Can, like, smile at me. Like, show me your teeth. <laughs> are they normal? Yeah, he's normal. Other than the spider legs that are sort of poking through a couple oh, of them. Oh. <laughs> well, you, you can stop now. You got you got something you got a little something in your teeth. Is there is there like still some snow on the ground? <laughs> uh uh sure. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of you know, a little snow. I'm just gonna mm-hmm. just try and melt it and just see if I can rinse my mouth out. Pro What happened to you? That fucking freak like vampire attacked everyone and I somehow managed to not die. Ow. You're hurt. I don't know. You're in- you- I, I recognize that, yes. I don't know. Uh, I was with uh, the ladyship, the, the like queen of this place for a little while, uh, the daughter, the sick girl. Um, she was helping me out a little bit, but then she started eating people, and I lost her. Sick girl on the train? Yeah. Is there, jo- that is there anyone- monster that we saw outside was literally hunting people down. I don't even know how many people are left, if any. Oh, I thought he was just giving them hickeys. Um, Josh, are, is, there anyone else the- again. <laughs> is there anyone else in the courtyard? Uh... No, there's nobody else in the courtyard, though you do, Mm -hmm. um, something comes flying down from one of the towers. It seems like a dark object. It's not flying like on wings, but it's like, it's something that's just sort of like tumbling, spinning down through the air. Um, and, uh, a moment later it hits the ground, uh, and it's a head. Oh... Do we see whose head it is? Should we go over? It's up to you. <laughs> uh, um, do we just want to try and leave? I mean, yeah, I want to leave, but what if that's the sick girl? What if the one thing that was here to protect us is now headless? We're not going to make it if we leave. You know that, right? We're not going to make it if we stay. No, I don't know which one's worse or scarier. Be like slowly freezing to death outside, or maybe a quick death if they just get the head. Like <laughs> who, him, them? I mean, um, yeah. Make sure to get Dracula's pronouns correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, there's a train. I need to see who that is. I need to see if we know them. I just need to know it. What if it's Denny? We only know like three people. And we aren't. We already saw Denny's head. What if it's the pregnant woman? We don't know her. She was really nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hobble over. I'm going to go look at the head and see if I recognize them. I'm not going to get all the way up, but I want to look I'm, at least from a distance. Okay. I'm just going to pick up Lizzie and uh-huh. just carry her because it's going to take so long for her to walk <laughs> all, that, all the way over there. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Uh, do, I yeah. need, do I need to roll for how how easy or hard this is? Nah, no. Nah, you have vampires. Oh. You have vampire thrall strength, Lizzie. Lizzie, okay. is it going to tax your muscles? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you um you carry her over and you sort of tow the head over so you can see it. Uh, mm-hmm. and it's Georg. Uh, and oh no, I tie- hate him. But like tied into his hair though is some of Lizzie's hair. As if he had like reclaimed oh. some of it and tied it to his own hair. <laughs> am I gonna go crazy and try and take it again, or am I okay? You seem to be past crazy at this point. You are not sure what. I might have gone so insane that I have perfect clarity. Yeah, yeah, you have crazy person clarity yeah. at this point. Yeah. Um. Now we're gonna cut away uh, from this. Oh God. To a room. <laughs> 
up at the top of a tower uh, where Tammy, the pregnant woman, is sitting down to a meal with Ruby. Um, and Ruby just has a cup of tea in front of her. Uh, but Tammy is Tammy's hungry. Tammy's like, I'm eating for two. So um, how are you doing after last night, Ruby? Now, Ruby, you saw a lot of horrible things. Um, but that they're, they're not the worst things you've ever seen. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and and the, the vampire man seemed very uninterested in eating you. So, um, yeah. Well, I've, ne- I've never had that kind of exercise before. I've got to go this way and then got to go. It's not really style. No. Other than that, I'm feeling fine. How about you? I'm good. I th- I f- I'm afraid all the stress is going to affect her. Um, but uh, oh, it's going to affect the baby. Yeah, I, I'm. You know, but I'm trying to breathe through it. I'm trying to just sort of center myself and and visualize a calm a calm experience for the baby. And so far, I think it's working. I don't know much about babies. Were you never a baby? Well, I'm not sure. I think everybody who was once a baby knows everything about babies. We've just forgotten. That would make sense. (laughs) And then that would make sense. Because I I remember everything. Well, that's a lot. I remember most things. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel like I don't remember, remember those things. Remember something. Okay. <laughs> but I do remember being little. Oh, how little? But I don't... Little. Okay. Little? <laughs> oh, okay. That is, that's little. And I don't remember before then. Mm-hmm. So, logic mm-hmm. would say that's when I started. Oh, so you weren't even born. You just were. Well, how do I know if I've been born? That's a good question. Do you have a belly button? <laughs> well, well, hold on now. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> now what's a belly button? <laughs> um... <laughs> She actually points to like she points to where hers is poking out. She's like, it's right here. Most people have innies, but I have an Audi uh, because my little girls pushed it out. So, um, but it's this little little pocket, like right here in the middle of your belly, and it goes it goes in, and it's like a little knot, a little knot of skin. And if you untie that, you you unravel. Here's a funny thing. I can't recall looking at myself without clothes on. Oh. (laughs) Well, then I I guess it's a mystery we'll never solve. I changed clothes last night. Mm -hmm. I put on the same outfit and rubbed a bit of dirt into it so it felt comfortable. Sure. But I changed clothes and I can't recall. Well, I don't think there's any mirrors in this place. Well, I, I, I've never been around there, but I'm, I'm saying I don't even recall like looking down like, oh, what, what do we have under here? <laughs> well, I think it's important for all women to just spend some time exploring themselves. I have a book uh, called um, uh, Something My Body. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's I'll, I'll get you a copy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, just when you're alone, you know, you just explore a bit, see what you like, you know. Feel like you're talking about something that's just going right over my head. It doesn't have to be. It could be, it could be completely spiritual. (laughs) You and your yonic energies. I think you're just making up words now. Probably. Are you still hungry? I am still famished. Um, here we go. Uh, eggs, bacon. That is an unidentified meat. And after last night, I think I'm going to just pass on that. Um, oh, let me see if I can identify it for you. <laughs> it's, 
it tastes like human. <laughs> yeah, you're probably not going to want to eat this. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, and she starts eating. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and about a, a few minutes later, uh, the train conductor comes walking up, <clears throat> the one from your from your train, in his suit with his pocket watch. And he looks at his watch and he says, Ah, well, we are... Um, we are running behind a bit. Uh, is everybody ready to get back on the train? Oh, there you are. Yeah. You went missing the other man and I couldn't find you. Yeah, I, I and could I was not thinking find about you it. either. Oh, well, that happens. I was that on a train, happen. though. <gasps> I was, what? and I looked out the windows, and there was nothing but void in every direction. And, and you came... You came back. I did, but I don't know how. I fell asleep in a sleeping car, and then I woke up here. Well, that's fascinating. I've never met anyone else who's been on a long train. The long train? It has a name. Oh, it doesn't have a name. It doesn't speak so much as the other ones do. Oh. Well, perhaps <laughs> there are wonderful things happening then. Oh, look who is expecting a baby! And he just walks over and just starts rubbing her belly. <laughs> oh, look, it's just a baby! <laughs> and she doesn't seem to mind. She's just like, yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> ah, wunderbar, wunderbar. Um, well, I think we have a couple of other people who will be getting on the train with us. Uh, we should probably gather them. Uh, and then uh, we can be uh, be upon our way if 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 we like. All right. Well, who left for the train? Uh, I wasn't sure anyone else made it out. Oh yes, there are there are a few. Um, there is uh, there is your crazy friend, and uh, <laughs> and there is uh, uh, the vampire's thrall who may or may not want to come with us. Uh, you know, it's a free country. Uh, so, uh, we will did, see. Did Mr. Shiny Man make it? Who? I didn't see him last night. Mr. Shiny, Mr. Shiny Cowboy? Mr. Shiny Man. <laughs> the, um, the, the Shiny Cowboy Man? Yeah. Or did oh. he get on the long train with you? Oh, the one uh, that you were, uh, doing the poker with. Is that the one? I wasn't playing poker with him. My crazy friend was. Oh, wait, did <laughs> you not win the poker? Oh, she lost the poker. No, no, the the man I was doing poker with, that was, we didn't get to play it. Uh, but oh. there was uh, Miss, Mr. Sharpman, I believe. I believe his name was, I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, I didn't write it down, Quinn wrote it down. You want to know uh, it Mr. Is? Sharpman, Vladislav. Uh, that was yes. a different man. Yeah. That was a different man. That, that, that was a man who I think has eaten human before. Uh, no, I'm talking about Mr. Shiny Man. Oh, is a shiny man? I don't know the shiny man, so maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Is he a rich man? He's a, he's a, he's a. Yeah, with the the cowboy that that's never been a cowboy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think I've seen him. He might be dead. Oh, I probably got stuck on a train and went away over the edge. It's possible. Is 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 possible? I've seen more fascinating things than uh, rich man die on a train uh, these past days. So um, yeah, why don't we all get together and we will get out of here all together and survive? All right. Well, that sounds like a wonderful, wonderful option to me. Um. All right. We're gonna pop back down to the courtyard, uh, where. A man is walking out of oh God. the um, the 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 fort, the the inner rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, you do not recognize him. He is in jeans. He's in a in a button down, uh, like a like a light blue work shirt, um, and he's got a cowboy hat on, and uh, he walks out and he goes, "Howdy." How y'all doing? Doing fine. Good morning for a stroll. Good. How you and um your mother? How 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 are the two of you? Oh God. She had a rough night. Well, yep. We did all do that, did we not? <laughs> yeah, that was a night. 
Oh well, I'm a. My name is Big Jim Tibbs, and uh, I'm here to I'm here to to shake your hand. No, wait, that's not my name. <laughs> what a dunderhead. Uh, I can't remember my name, but um, and he reaches out for your hand, and he changes. Like how change like his whole body he... changes. He's now taller. He's much darker. He looks like he might might have mixed ancestry, maybe maybe Native American, and mm -hmm. um, and he just reaches out and his name and he says, uh, "My name is Michael." I'm I'm still holding Lizzie, so I'm gonna try and like. Mm -hmm. I'm not reaching for. He shakes your hand, um, and he he just sort of pats you on the shoulder, and he says, it, um, "What." What are you? Are you one of them? What do you mean one of that? One of them? One of the vampires? <laughs> Ma'am, I've been called a lot of things by white women in my life, but vampire is not not one of them. That's shocking and dismay. Straight up and ask. I I mean, we just saw so many people get murdered and like I blood drink that vampires like literal vampires i don't know but you don't seem about. to recognize that what what, 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 what was, you don't know what you're talking about i was trashed <laughs> when we got off the train okay you two seem to have some issues you need to work through and as he turns he changes again and now mm -hmm. what does he know now he looks he's a he's a very tall thin old man and he says and I don't want to get involved in any of your, any of your issues. So, uh, I'll are just... you aware that you're doing that? You just keep looking and sounding different. I'm sorry that you have a problem with old people. That, uh, that we all look you like you were old two seconds ago. Oh, that's what it feels like to me too. But you wait till you get old. Time flies so quickly. You're 35 one day, and now you're 90, and that's just. It's just root of you. One day, Tommy, are you seeing this too? Am I that far gone that I, only I am seeing this? I just need to know. At this point, Tommy's going to start denying everything. <laughs> are you really? I, I need. I need more alcohol. <laughs> just gaslighting me. It's like I don't. I don't. I don't know what's going on anymore. I. I just wish. I just hope this is a bad dream and I'm still on the train and hung over and. Uh -huh. He looks at you and he says, the train! And he changes again. And now he's a boy of about 12. And he says, don't get on the long train. Don't get on the long train. The change is coming. What... The change, what? the beginning. Can you explain the words that you're saying? I'm not understanding is, any of them. The beginning is coming. The... And then he just falls to dust. Fucking. All right, all right. Yeah, did you did? <laughs> he was he was there. I'm 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 still just holding you, just like. Yeah. <laughs> just. Uh huh. Okay. Uh. You look like you've also seen it, so that does make me feel better. <laughs> um, that guy is dead. I think he's dead. Dude just got I dusted. I need to go. He got dusted. <laughs> um. We gotta go. We gotta out of, go. Out of the out of the fort come three people. Uh, one of oh, them God. is Ruby. One of them is Tammy, the pregnant woman, and one of them is the conductor in his nice suit, uh, walking uh, out. And he says, "Ah, yeah, you're here." Hi. Hello. Hey, Ruby. We just saw someone like change their form like three times and then turn to dust. I hate it here. He people just takes out that. his watch and looks at it. People he do just... that. <laughs> um. So, what do I remember of what happened to Tommy? Do did I see him become a, a thrall? Yes. Okay. Does he feel different? Like, does he look off in any way? My, my clothes are a little bit nicer. <laughs> it's a, a lot. He's a certainly a lot more fabric. put together. Yeah, he's he's less of. A... <laughs> Well, how do you sharpen up on that, Mr. Tommy? Apparently a good night's sleep does that. Oh, I doubt you were sleeping last night. 
I don't know what I was doing last night. Oh, I see. <laughs> I remember drinking, and then all of, it, all of a sudden, I'm eating spiders, and I don't have a hangover. So I don't know you if I need to start eating. Me. I don't know if I need to start eating spiders to avoid hangovers now. I'm, oh God! I'm, you, I'm, oh, I'm really so confused. Oh, he didn't recognize you. That's no, okay. He's, he thought I was like. He's, he's he not he's like a, a baby right something. now. In, you mean in he's a baby? Defense, in my defense, I didn't man. see you walk walk up. I'm still I'm still holding Lizzie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in my defense, I Are did you not see you walk. What was that? You've been holding me for so long. I'm not tired, but okay. He's not tired. He's got thrall strength. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, no. no. <laughs> Wait, did you drop me or did you not drop me? No, I like, like, oh, oh, oh. no, it didn't oh, drop you. Oh, and then just oh. like, then just like, why, like, why are you... sit you down. Oh, God. I'm not tired. I mean, you, you weigh a lot weird. less now than what you used to. <laughs> so. That was so rude. <laughs> I don't know. I was really mean to you for a long time, but I, I like you're being very mean to me today. Just today. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I'm better when I don't sleep. I don't know. This is weird. I don't know what it's like to not have a hangover the next day. Oh my god! I Where don't do know how like this. Weird, the weird dust person said something about a long train. You like trains? Do you know what that is? What did he say about the long train? Not to get on don't it. Don't get on it. Something's well, coming. Well, you don't train. choose the to beginning, get on a long train. The change is coming. The beginning is coming or something like that. Leans over the conductor. Do you have a some paper and a pen? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Um, He yeah. takes out a little notebook and, and flips it open. He says, no, nine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he gives you, he tears out a fresh piece of paper and gives you a pen. Thank what? you. And then I, I start writing down some lyrics. <laughs> What did the little boy look like? Well, he looked like looked like a an old guy before that, and then he was a taller guy before that, and then he was he like said a he was big chin tibs, and then he was uh, Michael. Michael, and then he was an old man and didn't say his name, and then he was a little boy. Well, isn't that funny? I know one Why of those people. Which one did you know? Was he? Which one? But I don't think he could do that when I knew okay. him. Okay. Oh, uh, what would you say the little boy looked like? He was little. Yeah, he was. It's pretty small. I don't remember what. Oh. I didn't take oh, any details. Oh, that's not at all. I know. Ruby, across the the open space near the near the door near the opening, um, there is now a man standing with his with his back to the wall one foot up on the wall, like a knee bent, um, and a cowboy hat down across his face. Oh, one moment. I gotta go talk to my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna look where she's looking. Do I see anyone? No one sees anyone over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I guess. <laughs> Mr. Jasper, did you hear? Mr. Big Jim Tibbs was here. I did, Ruby. I heard that he was here. But he was only kind of he here. And then he turned into a little boy who said not to get on the long train. Yep. Well, you don't choose to get on the long train. The long train chooses to take you on. We're coming up to the beginning here, Ruby. Well, now that doesn't make sense. The beginning I, of what? I know. But things are going to change at the beginning. And when they do, well, people make different choices at the beginning than they do at the end. Well, you know Ruby doesn't do riddles. I know, Ruby, and I'm sorry. There are rules that I have to follow, but I will say this. You're going to come out fine in the end of this. Well, I'll try to take your word for it because I got on this train thinking I was going to die. Well, or I didn't say you end. weren't going to die, but I did say you'd come out fine in the end. Well, you said there was a beginning, and I got on here thinking this was the end. So if the end is a beginning. Well, I think you might want to let your friend over there know what you're saying. He might want to write that down. I come over say the lyrics. <laughs> what? I said come over here. I'm... All right. All right, hold on. I'll be, 
uh, uh, watch her. She's been she's had a really rough night. If you have yeah, yeah, I would I would watch her like a hawk. I don't right. trust her at all. And then just <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I hate everything. <laughs> Um, now what, what what did I just say that he should write down? You said you thought this was the end, but now I see it's the beginning. Is the end Wait. the beginning? Something along those lines. I'm not a poet. The end is the beginning. Is that yeah. something? <laughs> Ends the beginning. Now I'm sorry for what's Any... about to happen here, Ruby. Yeah. I don't have any control over that. But again, if you feel yourself panicking... You're going to be all right in the end. Well, I'm just glad I, I got to see you again and pour, pour it out and drink for you. I but appreciate this, this that. Was, that was a tasty, this was tasty a very, sip. A very nice last train ride. I was a bit exciting, too. I had a little running excursion. Mm -hmm. Really had a pretty good night. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And he takes off his hat, and he's not injured anymore. Oh, you're all better. It's amazing what one little hit will do. And he puts his hat back on. He says, well, I guess, I guess I'll see you soon, Ruby. Oh, that's exciting. We're going to meet again. You could say it that way. And he turns around and he just walks out the, uh, walks out the front of the, the place. Bye, Mr. Jasper. See you soon, Ruby. Um... As soon as he's out the front door, though, all of you feel frozen in place. You can think, you can sort of speak, but you can't move. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. Why can't I move? I, I can slowly move. What, what is going on? I you? think we're frozen in place. Talking to. <laughs> I, oh, I was you... talking to my friend. <laughs> you stay okay. that way for hours. Oh. <clears throat> Damn. It is like a mind is holding you all in place. Well, you know what? I'm starting to think that this is that, that mis Mr. Vampire Man, and I think that's just very rude of him. Uh, uh, specifically, Ruby, you feel like two minds are pulling at you, uh, trying, one help? trying to move you and one trying to keep you still. <laughs> What's happening? What's going Why on? are you so fast? I think it's all in my head. I don't know, something's happening to me. <laughs> And that is I'll literally <laughs> hours and hours of this that you you all are. It is it is maddening. You are hungry. You are thirsty. And when the last ray of sunlight disappears from the courtyard, you are all suddenly free. Oh. But you also hear in the deep bowels of this place a boom. I didn't do it. <laughs> Well, I imagine he's awake now. My God, I just hope I die fast. <laughs> uh, what does the, con the conductor say to that? <laughs> the conductor looks at her and says, "Yeah, you probably will not. Uh, you are you are not a threat. Oh. Uh, my guess is they will feed on you for weeks and months." Why do you know anything about this? Have you not read vampire books? They, they, someone like you, someone who can cannot run away. They just, you know, they give you human food. You create vampire food. Oh, her ladyship's okay. I'm going to carry I Ruby back to, to where everyone is. <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you. I can't walk, though. <laughs> well, no. Is there anything sharp nearby? Oh, sure. There's all sorts of stuff around. The conductor, he's very <laughs> sharply dressed. Uh-huh, wow. yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I want, like, a sharp weapon that I'm going to put in. Do I have a pocket? We were in rags. You don't really have a pocket. You were in rags. Yeah. <laughs> um, Two of us. Um, mm -hmm. am I, did they take my bra? Do I have a bra that I could just, like... They did take your bra, but you got you got kind of dressed they? in some other... You got, like, dressed in other refugees' oh, yeah, clothes. 
Um, I You're did, so I might have a pocket. Wearing a bra. What's that? Wait, you Lizzie? say that again? You're telling me Lizzie was wearing a bra? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good point. Yeah, for the Those amount of time you're saying point. that she Lizzie did. Lizzie was not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lizzie didn't wear a bra. Um, you you do like the conductor walks over, picks up a piece of wood, and hands it to you, and says, "Good luck." <laughs> Thank you. Um, as if in response to Ruby's statement, though, I hope the uh, her ladyship is okay. Her ladyship comes flying down from one of the towers, um, a, sort of a gossamer figure, in in white, uh, like a white chiffon, uh, that is gleaming in the moonlight that's breaking over the the horizon and from the bowels of the the fort a dark figure comes stepping out and justin you feel your mind start to immediately change back to uh being enthralled i'm gonna die i'm gonna live that's the worst part <laughs> i'm waving a bowl the dom is only polite uh they Aww. clash they begin to fight um, they start to tear at each other. They start to rend it at each other. And the conductor looks down at Lizzie and says, um, do you want to stay for this or do you maybe want to get no. on the train? I would like to get on the train right now. Yeah? Okay. And he, yeah. he snaps at Justin and he says, uh, Thrall boy. Yeah. Your master you would like you to carry her to the train. Oh, okay. And, and the guy is, the count is so... <clears throat> occupied with fighting her that you don't get any sort of countermanding uh, command. Just, just, just Lizzie? Yes. Okay. All right, just, damn it. Just oh. her up. Ruby, are you staying or are you coming? What do you mean am I staying? There's a train to get on. I'm sorry. I have a stupid question. Let's go. That's why I offer my aunt. Oh, I'm to Tammy and said, come on, Tammy, let's go. Tammy. Let's uh, go, Tammy. Tammy takes your arm and, and starts to follow. And the conductor leads the, the f f four of you out. Um, and he says, okay, well, uh, thrall boy, why don't you put her on the train? Go ahead. Just find a seat for her and put her down and you come back out again. It's just a baby train. Sorry, is this the baby train? Yes, <laughs> this is the baby train. Okay. Um, I, I placed Lizzie in the, like, op I guess the closest one I was, the car yeah. I was close to was, like, an observation room. Just, like, sit her in there and just start walking back off. Yep. Um, and uh, and then once you get off, he says, ah, now, throw boy, come with me. We are going to get this thing started. Uh, and you two head up to the engine. Um, Tammy says, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I need to sit down. I need to sit down. Um, and she sits no, down in the snow. The um, what is? Like, oh, nope. I, I need a minute. Uh, uh, I need just a minute. Oh, oh, that's, <clears throat> that's uncomfortable. Okay. <sighs> and, um, and she just starts, starts trying to breathe through whatever is happening. Um, just a hee hee hoo hoo. Uh, oh, that's uncomfortable ruby you can you can get on the train without me that's okay um well I would, let's let's come on let's go okay i and then she looks oh. to her right and everything happens so fast um she looks to her right and then there's a hand on the back of your head ruby hello and then a hand on your shoulder and then your head is pulled to the right Ow. <laughs> and, and the weird Stop thing is, that. is that like you are able to like have these reactions at this speed <laughs> and <Just ow. laughs> and a moment later there are sharp teeth in your neck well that's just rude i was so close to getting on the train <laughs> and for what feels like a half a minute you feel the strangeness of your lifeblood leaving your body. And, <clears throat> and when he's done and he drops you down into the snow next to, next to Tammy, you're not dead, but you don't feel like you can move at all. Well, this is very rude. 
He looks at you and he, do I have, he he looks down and he goes What does that count as moving? You can you can speak, but that's that's kind of it. <laughs> what is very rude? What are you? Um Ruby <laughs> Your blood is strange. Well, that's because most folks like you know better than to go biting around things that they don't know what it is. He snarls at you and uh, and goes and walks up onto the train and opens the door and looks I've at got Lizzie. I've my uh, sharp wooden stake, I assume. Yo, you absolutely do. Yeah, did I see him like attack Ruby? You saw it out the window, yeah. Yeah, all right, so I'm holding it and I don't know whether to aim it at him or me because I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> by him <laughs> I do want to die that's what I was gonna say <laughs> yeah, I, I put the gun at myself because I don't want to die <laughs> <laughs> what is this blazing saddle <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll do it I'll get him <laughs> I'll do it <laughs> um he looks at you and he says hello hi <laughs> what is your name Lizzie, what what's your name? Vladislav. May I come Hi, in? Hi, Vladislav. No. Well, that's okay. <laughs> you don't actually live here. And he, he steps inside. <laughs> <of> the... <laughs> <laughs> and he sits down across from you, and he folds his hands I... on his lap. And he says, how has your day been, Lizzie? Um, pretty bad. I was frozen in place and completely incapable of moving. Yes. I've had a bad couple days. How was your day? All days are bad. All days are terrible. But the I night can imagine. is good. I... Are, are you going to... Eat me? Eat you? No, I don't eat people. No, Drink I Drink my blood? Well, maybe. But I, I feel like I owe you something because I did. I, I captured you all day with my very powerful mind. Uh, and your weak little <laughs> mind could not resist. And, uh, you know, I'm not very interested in you. Uh, you are boring and weak. And... Uh, <laughs> And not evil enough to be interesting, but a little evil, which, you know, I appreciate. Okay. You're the sort of person I would put in, in charge of, like, a tavern in my country. I put you in charge of tavern and you you, you let evil happen around you. Um, it's good for that. Uh, but I don't have tavern now. Uh, are, are, you sh are you sure? No, I, I could work for your tavern. I see. Uh, well, uh, you can beg for your life later. I, I, I'm, I'm talking now. Uh, but sorry. <laughs> the, you see, people like you, Lizzie. I, I can see your mind, and you are just a dirty little thing. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, sort of disgusting, but you know, I people do desperate things at at, at the last. So, uh, you know, maybe I flirt with you in a minute. Uh, but train is going to start going, and I have killed my daughter, which is what I came here to do. So, when train leaves, you and I will travel together. You will be my daughter. You will be my passport. Where are you from, Lizzie? I'm from California. We were going to New York. Ah. How do you feel about Canada? I don't know much about it. That's okay. You it's know a more different than, than I than do. California. Okay. We go north together. Where the nights are very long. And what's going to happen to me? 
Well, that's up to you. Now, I have another servant <coughs> on this train. I don't need you. But it would be nice to have someone young and full of life and, and who could dance and joke and play music for me. A jester, as it were. <laughs> okay. Would you like that? You can be honest. You okay. can say no. Um, at this point, I don't know. I, I guess so. I've seen a lot of really scary shit in the last couple of days. You will see many, many I've... more. If you come with me, you will see worse things. Have you ever eaten a baby? No. You will. Do I have to? No, I could kill you now. Your friend Tommy, though, he will eat babies. He will thank me to let him eat babies. Justin nodding <laughs> in the <laughs> top right corner. <laughs> yes, I will eat babies. You're like, oh god, what do I do? Eat the baby. Oh, this would be so thankful. <laughs> Is it is it like how he's himself again during the day, but he's under he doesn't he didn't know me. Ah yes, uh, is is uh, a law a process. Eventually, you will be mine all the time. But at the beginning, it will be a bit of fun <laughs> because you will think you get you get out of my control and then you run away. You know, <laughs> you run through the woods. Ah, <laughs> let me get away. Uh, but then I hunt you down and I bring you back and. Terrible things will happen to you, but but eventually, uh, you will you will come back and um, you will offer me everything, everything, not to torture you. Uh, and perhaps I will take that sometimes, and sometimes it will not. Um, but uh, you will you will eventually be mine all the time. If I choose not to do that, could you at least kill me fast? No. 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 It will be very I slow. It will be excruciating. All right. I guess I'll go with you. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. Okay. And he walks over and pats you on the head. And when he does, your hair grows back. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just so he can cut it off again. Yo, he it's, might. <laughs> it's a good choice. Is is You will be fine. Um... Oh, and the and the train lurches, uh, and starts rolling forward. And he goes, oh, "What is this road?" Very, very good. We go together now. We go together now. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah. you stay here. I will fix your leg in just a moment when I can pay attention to such things. And he walks towards the front of the train. Um, you two ride off into the night. Uh, and you get off at the next station with your father. Um, you two are brother and sister. <clears throat> um, the conductor had some sort of embolism or aneurysm, and he's found uh, in the front seat of the train. Uh, but you head north into the forests, into darkness, uh, where... After only a few months, you forget yourselves. You don't remember music or anything like that. You just serve the count um, and further his his goals. Ruby, another oh, train pulls up. Friend. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> a second train. <laughs> Tammy looks down at you and says, it's time, I think. And the train looks very strange and very familiar. There is, is it a void running across the windows. 
Well, I'd never seen you from the from the outside before. She reaches down and she puts her hand on your head and she says, I can't save you this way, Ruby. But it's the beginning. And she leans down and she kisses your forehead. And everything goes dark. But instead of being cold, you're warm. Warm and close. A heartbeat is nearby. And you feel the train rumbling underneath you. Your first real memory is of your mother, who calls herself just the lady. And you're little. You're so little. And she plops you down in your seat on the train and she says, Sit here, Tex. We're going on a ride. And that's where we will end this adventure. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, my God. Lizzie the definitely would have tried to kill herself at some point. <laughs> if she I don't know had... who would have gone, but she definitely would have tried. Tommy <laughs> gave her options, and she never oh, chose awesome. them. <laughs> So many times we'll push you off the top of the tower, but no. The second time we started having contractions, I was like, I see where this is going. (laughs) (laughs) From the very beginning of this adventure, I was like, we're going to give Ruby a new a new lease on life here at the end of the at the end of the story. Um, It's Ruby. What's that? Hmm? What is Ruby? No one knows. No one knows. (laughs) <laughs> oh, you think there's an answer to that question? <laughs> well, she's now part. She might be part vampire now. <laughs> yeah. She might have always been part vampire. That's who that. knows. <laughs> they said Faye, so is it is a circle. <laughs> the end is the beginning. <laughs> Ru- Ruby's that Venn diagram of everything supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> this is the little spot in the middle where they all overlap. Ruby. <laughs> and here's the thing, there's also a human circle in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what makes it so confusing. Yeah, to everybody, including Ruby. <laughs> yeah. This was so much fun. This is a fun one. Oh, a my God. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad people had a good oh. time. I hope people in the chat had a good time too. I hope people watching enjoyed this one. Um, I love how we were all in a different genre of horror. Will, my <laughs> last character was a nice person. Was <laughs> <laughs> a nice person. Emma Grace was a nice person. <laughs> I I wouldn't know. <laughs> mm, that's fair. So so far, every single one of Rachel's characters has been mean. <laughs> All of them. Everyone that I've interacted well, with. Well, so no, you haven't necessarily not been um, mean to the to sci-fi other people. The sci-fi one but was nice to me. Right? Yeah. Oh, it was the sci-fi. One. Well, I don't remember her name. The one in the oh, yeah. uh, she, she in the spaceship. Nice. She was a nice person. Oh uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember that nice. character. Yeah. Um. I, I remember her. Certainly, like ghost strokers, you had some conflict. <laughs> she was a bitch in the hotel. Yeah. You and Justin. Uh, that was oh, hard. you were. So, yeah, I, I, was, I yeah, hated I your character yeah, so much. I hated her, <laughs> but it made yeah. such a good scene at that one. Oh, I know. It was. It just, made, our relationship was, was very perfect. good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but yes, uh, I guess Emma Grace was was fine, even if she was like. She was annoying. Kind of sad. But she was nice. Yeah, she was nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. She was annoying in a sad way. Yeah, annoying in a she sad was. way. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, just when you think like about her. it, is close enough to being mean <laughs> for people to just, like, it's close enough to being mean for people to dislike you. <laughs> They're like, you're we're annoying really in nice a sad way. Now. Just in our next group, we're going to be besties. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. Well, no, if it's, if it's what, well... <laughs> You'll try. No, if, if it is what the theme that Josh said it was going to be last time. I remember what it was. I find it's going to be, because I've been working on a character. I have been. Oh, shit. Remind me, remind me in the chat, Justin, w- what it is. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Because I had an idea in my head, but I was like, did I say something before? Uh, and if I did, then then we'll go with that. Um, uh, let me see here. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, right, right, right. Ooh. Yep. Was it, was it, because, was it that yeah. or an amusement? Um, no, it was that one. Okay. It was that okay. one. Because okay. we were talking about some other stuff, and then you said Michael and I can't be this thing because of certain things. Yeah. Okay. Certain limitations. Okay. Okay. Which I will yeah, explain yeah. a little Wait, bit more it, of that after we get on. Chinese yeah. twins? No, yeah. conjoined. Conjoined, conjoined twins. twins. Well, that's that's what, yeah, that's what, that's the old yeah. non-PC <laughs> way of saying that, yeah. Um, uh, yes, that that's true. It would be very difficult. Audience, um, you may be able to guess now. Yeah, you may be able to guess now. It's never really a secret, um, mm -hmm. but uh, but yes, I think that's a good idea. I, I do want to do, so I actually didn't even announce this on, on Monday night's uh, thing, but we're doing, we're continuing with, on Monday night, the... Um, uh, the Camp Oak sequels Ooh. after Chris's Ooh. South uh, 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 South Pole story. So, um, so we're gonna be doing Ashton's character next, and I'm pretty sure we're doing like an early '80s roller rink. Uh, yeah. Is there is there setting? Oh, is um, that not also the same character that was in their Slumpos? It's not the same character no. that was in Slumpos. It's her her character from Camp Oak. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, her character from okay. Slumpos definitely died. Um, <laughs> okay, because I, I, I knew I knew that the puzzle knew that her character from Slumpos was a skate. Like, well, had skates on. Had all the roller time. skates on. Yes, she would. She would roll around on roller skates. Okay. Um, but yes. So we're gonna we're gonna do early eighties roller rink there, um, and then we're probably going back to Camp Oak and Oak after that for the big like culmination of all those characters oh, yeah. that's gonna be exciting um Ooh. but you guys so so i kind of know what the next two are for them we'll we'll do we'll we'll do circus next time um we may have a new person joining us for that so uh we'll be off next week um and then we'll figure out what our schedule is maybe we'll postpone things a little bit do some play something on here um Maybe just maybe we haven't done a, like a, a, a like a debrief in a while. Maybe we'll just pick a Tuesday where we come on talk about stuff that works, stuff that doesn't work, um, mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, take questions from chat and and everything. Um, but uh, and then we'll get the circus one going. My guess is early mid November. Um, so uh we i know we might have people who are out like one week somewhere in there but um yeah but yeah so uh we'll we'll probably shoot for mid-november or something like that and then um and then i think and you guys can hold me to this after the circus i think i want to do a genuine cabin in the woods like Ooh. a genuine you guys three and we gotta play tropes then like you, you are going to play archetypes. You're going to pick your, pick okay. your tropes. Yes. Like three NPCs, very limited group of people, very well defined, mm -hmm. um, and like a week at a week at a lake, uh, at a cabin in the woods. I think that'd be a fun. Hell yeah. Fun thing. We're just that we gonna. Really uh, we're just gonna up Rachel's campaign. <laughs> 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 we're just gonna outdo Rachel's campaign then. Thank you. Well, I mean, well, I'm, not, I'm not going to take you to a hospital. We, right, we immediately yeah. went to a hospital. The right. camping was mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Camping, everyone had fun until we didn't. We were just at the, the cabin next to that one. <laughs> were we even at a cabin? I don't think we were we at a cabin. Were, we were, I feel like we were we at a cabin. We tents. Because we were at a campground. We were, camp we you know, there, yeah, we were, we were at a campground and then went down to the water. Yep. Went down to the lake. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is a. like broke their neck. Their leg? No, I broke Her my leg. leg. Yeah, because it was my swinging, PC uh, broke their leg. Swing. Yeah. I see. Uh, the golden boy. Yeah. And then did Rachel it. took my very personal tragedy and put it yeah, in I the uh, <laughs> put it in I the did. adventure. Chris asked me what my like greatest fear was for for our current mm -hmm. one, and I told him the story uh, of when <laughs> I told Rachel about the thing that happened to me in the hospital. And then I was like, and then she used it in the adventure. So that's great. Um, I did. <laughs> um, you scare me all the time. I only true. felt it was right. Well, I, I, but I never ask you what's scary. <laughs> I just, you know, you just, Rachel, you're so fear basic. 
Like, I, I'm sorry. I, I scare I, you with the pumpkin spice latte of, of horror. You, you um, scare her with babies oh, and children. I say, very cinematic when she came crawling out um, at the beginning of this session. Very cinematic. <laughs> yes. And in a way that I was like, I bet this is really bothering Rachel. <laughs> oh, it was killing me. I was like, oh, I <laughs> I'm gonna die bald, mangy. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Do, did people get the Renfield reference there at the beginning? The mm -hmm. I don't know. There's this. So in Dracula, there's this very famous scene where Renfield, who is this, he's the first agent who's sent to Dracula to like sell him mm -hmm. land in England. And then he comes back and he's crazy. He goes into an insane asylum and then Jonathan Harker is sent in his place. Um, mm -hmm. But there's this very famous scene of Renfield who is talking about uh, the, the blood is the life. And so he eats, he eats ants or he eats like flies because, uh, and then he wants to eat the spider because the spider eats the fly. And then he wants like a little bird that he can take care of or a cat or, or even a baby um, and of course he wants to eat them because the blood is the life and his master drinks blood. Mm -hmm. So the Justin eating spiders thing was a direct pull from, oh, that's from cool. Renfield. That's sick. Um, I do recommend if you watch, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, or if you just look for the scene, um, Tom Waits does an amazing job as Renfield in that movie. If you look up the Tom Waits Renfield scenes, it's a fucking masterclass in chewing scenery, but it is great. Like he's 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 genuinely great in that. Um, but yeah, that's our that's our second like Dracula pull because I think we did a Demeter thing at one point too. Mm -hmm. But um, yep. so that'll that'll do it for this adventure. We'll be back next week. Or no, we won't be back next week. We'll be off next <laughs> week on Tuesday night. We will be back next week on Monday night though. Um, and uh, and uh, and then we'll figure out what our schedule is going forward after that. Um, I will be tomorrow night. I will be going to go see John Cleese. I have never Ooh. seen a Monty Python member Ooh. in in person, but I'm jealous. That's yeah. Fun. yeah, I'm really jealous. Um, he's uh, he's. I figure he's not gonna be doing this for a lot uh, uh, for a lot longer. So, <laughs> uh, but my wife is taking me for my birthday. So. Um, so I'm I'm excited happy early birthday. That. It's late. It's late. When's your birthday tomorrow? Y'all no, missed it. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was actually was over the it? weekend. So um, happy late birthday. Um, <laughs> uh, unless you meant next year, Justin, and then thank you uh, for the happy early, early birthday. birthday. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So uh, Rachel, where can people find you and your stuff on the internet? You can find me here every Tuesday, except for next Tuesday. We won't be here. Um, and you can find me on Instagram at Rachel underscore Max and my website at Rachel-Max.com, where you'll see whatever I'm working on. It'll be on there. Awesome. Justin, where can people find you? Where you work on the internet? Uh, most anywhere at Z Ranger037 for most social medias here whenever we're back here again. And that's pretty much it for right now. Um, have some other stuff working, um, waiting for that to come out. And hopefully, hopefully soon, something on Netflix for like a very low budget Ooh. horror that nice. I talked about last time, that, that yeah. Western. Oh yeah. So, awesome. We'll awesome. see. Uh, Quinn, can people find you on the internet? I mean, technically you can find me lurking on, on our uh, Discord, the Weissmore <laughs> uh, horror. <laughs> Sounds in this Discord, uh, where occasionally, <laughs> like every four months or something, I'll put a heart on a message. Right. Um, yeah. But other than that, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, yeah, if you want to come to that Discord, uh, go to weepingcedars.com or worsthyphendays.com. Just click on the Discord link uh, and and come and join and, and verify and prove that you're over 18 because uh, I'm doing everything to keep bots and children out of there. Uh, so, so like, don't prove of... you're a teen. A lot of really cool discussions are going on right now. So yeah, um, and then and then again, we may see new, see some new faces here uh, relatively soon, and and hopefully Michael will be back. So uh, thank you all, thank you everybody in the chat, thank you Epic Inside, thank you Will, thank you Ducky, um, thank you Jolly Blue Gnome uh, for all hanging out and and chatting. Uh, for the absent Michael Morris, for Rachel Max, for Justin Allen. For Quinn Steve Bold, I have been your host, Joshua Wise. This has been The Worst Days. We hope you've had the best time. Good night, everybody. <laughs>